Hi, Virgo. Hello, Virgo. <laughs> Hi. Uh, welcome to your unexpected reading for April 29th through May 28th. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. And for the recommended reader shout out, I have two Hustler Jones Tarot and Water Baby Tarot, and I will leave their links in the description box below. Check them out. Show them some love if you get a chance. Um, if you would like to recommend someone, check out the community post on that. All right. Virgo. All right, Virgo. Strength. Hmm. So perhaps you are asking yourself, are things balanced? Are things harmonious? Is this solid? Are we on solid footing? Perhaps this is about having to be patient and wait for things to evolve over time. Hmm. Could be realizing that you're in a really good place and things are just good and solid and wondering what your next move is going to be. Seven of Wands, Eight of Swords. Okay. Oh boy. Perhaps not. Uh, well, I mean, it could be, but we've got the Seven of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the King of Pentacles here. So you could be, as far as people, this could be Leo. This could be Virgo, this could be Aquarius. So it doesn't have to be, just could be any one of those. If it's not, this is about, there was kind of, it, it's almost like somebody wanted something from you um, or you were feeling conflicted about it. You were There was some kind of conflict that there was a compromise that you weren't willing to make. And it could be that things ended abruptly or it was like just very decisive action, cutting things off. And now there's this, um, it's all about building security or reestablishing security or getting to safety, feeling safe, feeling secure, feeling like you're back on solid footing after this ending. Eight of Pentacles, the Magician, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Queen of Cups. All right, who is Virgo dealing with here? We're going to dealing with. Dealing with. Knight of Swords. All right. So this very well could be an air sign. It doesn't have to, but it could be somebody that made a very decisive, unexpected action. Did something rogue that just all of a sudden there, this could have been a heated argument with your person. And now here's the, the, you know, because we have the ending here. And here's the aftermath of it. All right, so this is you. So these three cards right here, the King of Pentacles and the Strength and the Eight of Pentacles, this is all about you working independently. Perhaps there's been a break and someone's gonna kind of go into that whole self-help, um, I don't wanna say it like that, I don't wanna say self-help mode, but no, you know what I mean? Like that reflection afterwards where you go, well, what the heck just happened? Especially if it's unexpected like that, you're kind of like, Okay, I'm just going to kind of keep to myself. I'm going to do the dailies that ground me, like work and, you know, exercise and things like that. But I'm very much independently under myself. And I, I want to figure out things on my own right now. And the things that I do help me mentally. Like, you know, if you go for a run, if you go work out, it, it's helping you process this situation emotionally. What's this Eight of Pentacles about? What's this Eight of Pentacles? Maybe somebody was wanting you to... Yeah, there's that the moon card. Maybe somebody was wanting you to um, compromise or give up something and you're like, no, I have to, because both the, the strength and the seven of wands are about strength, obviously strength, but coming from an advantage as well. And so this is, perhaps it was like, you know what, I need to cut things off now before it gets out of hand because I have to attend to my security or what makes me feel secure. And this in the relationship is not it. Or it was just a business decision. Like, you know what, this is, we've gone as far as we can go. I, I have to concentrate on work and my career and somebody might have wanted more of you than that. And the reason why I say that is because it, it looks like you're really involved, um, wanting to kind of keep to yourself and just, and, and work on your work. I don't know what that means. Work on your work. I get working on yourself. I get going to therapy or talking to friends, trying to work this out. Um, I get doing your nine to five, but I don't know what working on the work. Are you, do you have a side project? It looks like you're mentally trying to process happy hands equals happy mind, right? And it looks like this is, it's all about trying to figure out where you deceived. Was there, instead of it being a solid, strong offer, 
which is what you're trying to get back to solid footing. It's like, was, was there deception? Was I just kidding myself? Was I deluding myself? Maybe this is an epiphany to that. Like what the heck just happened? Wait, what was really going on? Was there deception here? What's this Knight of Swords about? Virgo, what's this Knight of Swords about? So, okay, epiphanies abound. Perhaps this looks like it was an, a, an, an argument, a heated argument where it called into question everything basically. Like all of a sudden now you're having doubts. Like was there deception? Was I deceived? Was I just delude, whoopsie, just deluding myself? And it looks like maybe this argument was kind of a, a clearing of the air and a kind of illuminating everything that was not said or spoken or whatever you were conflicted about or whatever the com ongoing conflict was. It, maybe this argument in an attempt to clear the air, maybe it actually ended things unexpectedly so. But hmm. Because this is the yes card. This is things working out, problem resolution, conflict resolution, problem solving, that sort of thing. But it doesn't always mean that we'll stay together. It's, it could be like, whoa, we cleared the air on that one. Everything that I had questions about was indeed illuminated, but we're no longer together. <laughs> Ouch. All right, what's this magician about? What's this magician about? And this looks like work again. What's this magician about? This, this could be the magician company combined with the seven of cups. This could be the workaholic situation. Just saying, it looks like work is featuring pretty prominent for you here. Um, Virgo that perhaps somebody wanted things to progress differently and you were like, Nope, I need to, I need things to be how they are right now because work is a priority. I've got to, you know, I, my business or my job and things like that. And Hmm. Yeah. It, it, Perhaps you own your own business and you've really got a lot going on and you need to concentrate on that. If it's not that, it's about perhaps somebody, you or the other person, didn't know what they wanted. And it was it was kind of like, okay, are we going to move forward with this in solid footing? Are we going to do this? Or are we going to, and instead of it being like, yes, we're moving forward, let's take it to the next level. It was like, nope, <laughs> I unexpectedly cut off. And now there's this figuring out, we got the King of Pentacles and the Magician here and all these options and all like, okay, what do I do now? Like now that things have ended, I'm just going to do what I know best, but I want a fresh start. I want to create more for myself. Perhaps this is just still doing what you always done, working and creating the job that you, like if you're an entrepreneur, um, all the while thinking about what the heck was going on. There's just too many un, unanswered questions. Perhaps you suspect deception, like I said. Okay, so what's this wheel about? We got reversal here. What's this wheel about? For Virgo. This wheel about for Virgo. I feel like I just said Gemini. Why did I just, why did I feel like I just said Gemini? That's in, okay. All right. So for th this is reversal here. So perhaps the unexpected issue here coming in hot is this offer that instead of it being about clearing the air and talking about how we're going to go forward, it was kind of illuminated that somebody's priorities are elsewhere. And instead of it being an offer, things actually, instead of it being an offer, like, okay, well, let's just see what happens. It, it either didn't work out or this is coming Two things. This right here was all about an unexpected offer or an offer that came in that, that this sort of talking about it escalated and it actually ended things or because we got the world and the wheel of fortune here, both are about endings. This is the whole book, the book being closed. This is a chapter in a book being finished. So this is reversal. So perhaps this is about things ending. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere comes this unexpected offer. And it's like, you know what? I don't know what's going to happen. I just want you in my life. I have no plans. I don't, I don't need that assurity for the future anymore from you, but I do want to be in your life. And I know that I love you and I, I, I'm up for anything. I'm up for surprises, but I realized after this ending that I don't want to be without you. Hmm. Oh, queen of cups. Okay. So what's this queen of cups about? This Queen of Cups. This could be Pisces, Leo, Scorpio. What's this Queen of Cups about? Hmm. 
if I'm honest, Virgo, this feels like somebody comes to you. Like there's been this struggle, this fight. You guys weren't on solid ground. It was about the future. Perhaps there was an offer or wanting to talk about the future and it ended with a breakup instead. Um, perhaps it was wanting someone to extend an offer or to take things to the next level. And they were like, nope, I got to concentrate on my business right now. I can't. And I've really got to focus on that. And then out of nowhere, there's an offer. I can't tell who's making the offer, but um, unexpectedly so. There's, there's this offer of romance. And either it ended unexpectedly because of this conversation or it's already ended and somebody comes back out of nowhere after this ending and says, you know what, I, like I said, I just want you in my life. And because of that, this is saying one of two things. Either be aware that it's, it might take some time to process this breakup and this ending, Virgo, or it could be that there's something about grieving together over the heartache. And that could be considered this reconciliation offer. That's random. I understand that. It's just, it's, this is about being emotionally balanced about your heartbreak, about being intellectually, having that emotional intelligence to process and understand your heartache, your heartbreak, why you're going through it. Um, and, and sort of being, having friends or you being in, in very in support of you grieving, like being, basically being nice to yourself and, and nurture yourself through this heartache. It could, but the Queen of Cups sometimes rep recommend and recommends represents friendship, um, close friendships. So this could be grieving with friends, surrounding yourself with supportive people and friends grieving, or it could be because this person comes back with the offer, you sharing basically going, you know, I'm really broken up about this. I'm pre I'm I'm really sad, and it's breaking my heart that things have to be the way they are, and then it goes from there because we do have the Wheel of Fortune here that means like anything could happen after this offer is made. So it could be that the first start of handling this for you, Virgo, is sharing how you feel with that person that comes back in. Some of you are going to want to punch me in the throat for saying that because you're like, oh, no, I've been through enough. But there is there's an element of being emotionally intellect, intelligent about your grief and your heartache and your sorrow right now and having others be in a supportive capacity to that. So friends, family, um, talking to somebody that could help you through this, maybe a counselor, but it feels like it has to do with this person coming back in and opening up their feelings, especially since it's unexpected, coming back in and telling you how they feel. And that kind of gives you, like you kind of reciprocate and kind of go, yeah, I'm really upset about this also. What's this world about for Virgo? What's this world about for Virgo? What's this world about for Virgo? Okay, there's been an ending. Good gracious. This is probably not for Virgo. Boobies. Just saying. Mm, not being able to move on. Okay. So this is, yeah, this is all about you quite possibly um, keeping to yourself and kind of working through your emotions while you're heavily involved in your business or your work you know, just coming off of this conversation or this situation where, and it feels like this is like round and round we go because it's almost like, you know, it had all the potential to work out, but it got cut off so quickly. And, you know, here we have resolution, but it certainly wasn't about the two of you resolving things together. It looked like it ended things. And then out of nowhere, here comes this offer wanting to reverse the ending. And perhaps this is either you or the other person being very conflicted about um, what to do? Do I, do I concentrate on love, my romantic relationships, or do I really concentrate on my work and my business that I'm trying to grow and, and have thrive and all that? And the answer would be yes, right? Because <laughs> if you're with the right person, perhaps um, both can happen. There's that argument. Perhaps somebody just feels more comfortable creating alone right now and then coming back at a later time when everything's set into place for them. Either way, this is about the unknown, this is about reversal, but this is also uh, is a good omen for the future. So it, if this person is making this offer, it could very well be that they have figured out, somebody has figured out, whoever's making the offer, and this is general, so that I, a lot of times I get the energies reversed, but whoever comes back in, if they haven't yet, they will for this offer, their priorities have shifted because they don't know what's going to happen for the future 
but they feel very strongly about it. We got the strength card and they do want to be in your life. It feels like there's been a reversal of a prior decision as far as them prioritizing one thing. And then now priorities are different because they feel the void without you there. And they, it's like, you know, I don't know what's going to happen, but I do know that I, I don't want to lose you. And that in turn allows you to open up to them emotionally also and discuss how you feel. All right, two cards for Virgo, please. Confirmation for Virgo. Lenormand, two cards, please. Okay, so we got, hello, the tower. Yeah, this is somebody who's probably got a work focus here because we got the tower and the fox. Sometimes the fox could be ulterior motives, but it also could be the career, um, a future longevity money card. You can't see that. Ugh. I don't want to cover anything up. <laughs> okay. That doesn't help. That doesn't help. Not really. Okay. Anyway, we've got the tower and we've got the fox. And so tower is long-standing institutions. And this is not the same as in the tarot card. Uh, this is all about things that have been around for a while, the structures that kind of ground society, jobs, things like that. And so this could be somebody that has is very uh, much concentrating on their job that has been stable, secure. They're trying to grow that. It could be a, you know, corporations, um, institutions, things like that. This could also, if we're talking about love, it could be feeling like you were kind of all alone in this relationship or right now you're feeling very much alone and it's just, you're feeling alone and you're working. You're just constantly, because you feel like you've been cut off, you're concentrating only on your work, your nine to five, your career. I don't think for this reading, I don't think this is about deception or ulterior motives. I know we have the deception card here, but I think this is, in review of like, what the heck just happened? I think that's what this is. And then you're like, was I kidding myself? Was I delusional? Did I, was, was there deception? What the, what the heck just happened? I think this is about someone really wanting to concentrate on building future security and concentrating on their job. You know, and like I said, the workaholic card. So this, it could be that work, someone was working very heavily and that's where their focus was. And when push came to shove, they chose work. And then here we have, you know, the reversal of that going, oh, okay, I changed my mind. I don't like my life without you in it. And then from it goes from there. Don't know what's going to happen. It's going to be up to you, right? But both of you have not been able to move on. And there is going, it looks like there is going to be discussion. And how that, how, how you two start to bridge the gap, if you so choose, Virgo, uh, is opening up and, and talking about how you feel as well. We get a confirmation card for Virgo. Virgo. Get a confirmation card from Virgo, please. Virgo. Okay, two came out. We got the, uh, we got the unknown card and the six of pentacles. So this goes, this kind of doubles down on the unknown right here. This is saying it's not meant to be known right now. Um, that's going to come, and remember how I said whatever's going to happen is going to go from you opening up to them and talking to them also. Um, and so the future is yet to be, it's, it's not showing here what's going to happen. All that's happened is it's been a row. There's been a breakup. Somebody's concentrating on work and questioning things and you're heartbroken and it all gets handled because, and you can't move on. They can't move on either. You two are still heavily on each other's mind. So this is unknown for the future. It, you two have to write it together at this point. This is unknown. They, all that's, known is that somebody comes back in with an offer and it reverses things and the key to writing the future for the both of you is you opening up and sharing your feelings and that's what this reciprocity card is about is the give and take the the mutual sharing all right i have one more because i'm just full of cards right oh wait geez louise we're gonna go into 20 minutes i'm sorry i hope that um well you can always pause it right <laughs> all right so for virgo what would virgo's person say to them this person. I don't feel like this person was, I don't feel like there's deception here. I really don't. I just feel like somebody, you know, I really feel like work is really, somebody's trying to build a business or get a promotion. Something's going on. Their priorities were on work. What would Virgo's person say to them? You've been in my dreams. All right. Well, yeah, because they had not been able to move on, not being able to let go of it yet. It's unfinished business. All right, for Virgo. 
Oops, I forgot to show you. There we go. There we go. Two. There we go. Wait, that was like that? Okay, so I always turn it clockwise, so there we go. Wait a minute, it was like this. Well, there we go. It's reversed. I'm gonna put this. Now that's the chariot reversed, and this is justice. So things not moving forward either need balancing out. There need this was karmic. This is a karma card. So it could be that things haven't moved forward, and that was the right decision to make. It could be that things not moving forward or um, letting go and not forcing it, not forcing a decision or a commitment right now is the right way to go. Perhaps it begins with just sharing how you feel and what you both want. It's not about ultimatums. It's not about like, look, this is how I want things to go and how kind of you get into that rut and things need to be this way because my focus is here. And if you want. It's not about that. It's not about that, that being forceful or that aggression. Like this is how it has to be if we're gonna move forward or I wanted this, no. It's not about that. It's about letting go of the need for direction right now. And perhaps that's why they come back in because they're like, you know what? I thought I wanted this, but when it comes to you and I, I just don't want to be without you in my life. I don't know what to do. This could be lack of direction. This could be lack of aggression. This could be lack of planning. But I think this is kind of doubling down on the fact that they thought this way, but then the breakup happened and all of a sudden they're like, okay, maybe that's not the way to go because I can't get over this person. I can't move on. I don't want them. I don't, I don't want to be without them in my life. So maybe forcing things and having things a certain way and to the finish line is not the answer. Maybe it's about the right thing. Reciprocity. Where's that six? So didn't I, we have six pentacles here? Here it is. These two feel connected, the six of pentacles and justice. It's all about the right thing being done, things being brought into balance, that, that give and take, things being in balance. And the way to achieve that is by not forcing it. It's just all of a sudden they come back unexpectedly. So after things have ended, the slate's been clean. There's been an ending. I know it sounds random, but we've had like a major karmic cycle completed. There's been a reversal unexpectedly. So they come back and make this offer. And it's because they've had this epiphany or realization that, okay, forcing it and me being like, er, is not the way to go. Instead, we need to be reciprocal and talk about what we both want and create this together. Wow. That's pretty cool, Virgo. 23 minutes, I know. But honestly, this, this right here is like, holy crap, what? <laughs> here they come. There's, there's an offer out of the blue. That's what's unexpected is they come back and you didn't see it coming. You really did because you just, you thought it was over. But I tell you what, they, they've let go of whatever this is right here. They've let go of the, it's not that they've let it go. They just reprioritize it. They realize, okay, I can have both. Will you help me figure out how? Okay. All right. And maybe that's why you're wondering about, is this offer stable? This would show that it's going to be what you two make it. This person is not figuring it out anymore and telling how it's gonna be and this is the way it, they're not, that's not where the strength is gonna come from moving forward. It's gonna come from you two deciding together. Okay, all right, Virgo, thank you. Um, I hope this was helpful and I hope to see you in the next reading. You take care.